what is up fishing addicts on today's video i will be explaining the baits that i got from the chicago show i really didn't uh, go over them that much because i uh, didn't want to make the video um that long over a couple of minutes because there was no fish catching or any explanations but i remember i should have done is why i'm picking those baits so let's get to it now the molex baits uh, they do have a similar system uh, like uh, Yuzuri so they're a lot easier to cast and uh, the reason I got these uh, flat uh, cranks is because uh, soon the snow will melt and uh, during uh, cold weather cold water conditions I love uh, using uh, flat cranks. They do put out uh, a lot tighter vibration, and uh, it seems they work uh, better than uh, just a regular uh, uh, square bills. And uh, I never own a mo uh, Molex, Molex, whatever, however you call it. And uh, they do look uh, unique, and uh, I assume they're uh, a lot better than. Uh, most Rapalas, even though I do like Rapalas, but uh, some of their uh, um, baits are not that durable at all. And uh, as I'm inspecting this one, it's pretty unique, I'll say. I know one thing about these is I don't think slapping it on the water will be a good idea because the bill will break. Uh, and that's the uh, main issue with the Rapalas that I have when I slam it to the water, uh, the bills break. But uh, it looks it looks pretty nice, decent colors. I love it. It's a crayfish pattern, and it has some purple tint tint to it. That's uh, the purple tint is usually shad. Uh, if you ever catch a shad in, out of cold water, if you look at it, if you flip it uh, on a certain angle, you'll see the purple bluish on there. So crayfish. Um, pattern for spring is a killer I love uh, crayfish pattern and uh, I got this one and I also got a shad pattern as well this one is a shallow diver and uh, looks like they have pretty soft rattles which is which is good and uh, pretty nice colors and uh, for some reason, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's thin over here and then it gets rounder on the back. I'm pretty sure uh, I just found something. Well, this one is damaged. I don't know if you guys can see it. The clear coat is damaged. Not a big deal. As long as the pain, the bait is not taking water, you'll be all right. And uh, this one has a different type of bill, besides being shorter. But uh, oh well, it is where it is. So I, I, it's a real unique design. I really wanted to try them. Uh, I did notice it when I was buying, uh, when I was looking at them. That's the reason I buy. I do have a lot of. Uh, flat side crankbaits just that uh, it caught me by surprise to see a high end uh, crankbait come in comes uh, damaged like this it's weird poor quality inspection and now for my fate well let's do mega bass as most of you know I uh, I'm extremely cautious when it comes to uh, spending a lot of money on uh, Mega Bass. But this one even has the dollar signs. How cute. Uh, Mega Bass are very good uh, lures simply because the weight transfer system and, uh, and their swimming action. It's... Uh, pretty pretty good and uh, this one has a pink and and if you 
I don't know if it's gonna you guys gonna be able to see the purple on it but uh, the pink and the purple that's a perfect shot it, it's 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 gonna be great great uh, for early spring pre-spawn and uh, maybe winter walleye spring walleye it's a real unique color and I said it was $15 so um, almost half price they're usually $25.99 and uh, Lisa both had them for 15 and they said it is a unique color per unique color I'll say it's pinkish purplish and it has a glitter on it and uh, right on the back there's a little uh, silver spot it's a great uh, shad imitator. I love it, and it does have the weight transfer system, uh, which is pretty good. Good bait. Uh, I wish they were more affordable. And uh, lipless uh, from Uzuri. Well, lately, uh, Uzuri um, they they start ever since they start making their hardcore series. Uh, got my attention. I do own uh, several dozen of them, and uh, I was first introduced to Missouri uh, a year and a half ago, and uh, I really like their uh, uh, baits. I mean, they work amazingly, and now they came up with the uh, um, with their hardcore series. It is amazing. And uh, this is a smaller uh, lipless in a perch pattern. And uh, the reason I got this one was uh, f just for walleye. Uh, walleye in my area, they love uh, snacking on perch patterns. And uh, Yuzuri, uh, this is the 3DB series, I believe, or 3 something. Uh, it's not the hardcore series. They do have a. Uh, some kind of thing over here that makes a uh, unique vibration and uh, like I said these are pretty heavy and uh, they do put out a little bit different uh, um, swimming action than uh, other lipless crankbaits. I can't get this there we go and they do come with uh, premium hooks not sure what brand but they are extremely sticky so I, I can't wait to use this one. Hopefully I don't lose it. And now uh, from past experience, Yuzuri comes with uh, uh, premium hardware so I don't have to change anything. Just straight out of the box I can use them. And the other thing is, these are not painted. So when usually what I found out is painted lures, when you use them in rocks, the paint chips off. Since these are not painted, the pretty much the shape and the colors everything is gonna stay the same so these are almost like a rapala there is a film inside and uh, they just put the plastic around it it's pretty it's pretty cool can't wait to use this one and the hardcore series um, what's so special about these is uh, first the price they're usually 14 15 dollars and uh, lease had them for 11 uh, same thing for the lipless um, they are over uh, 10 bucks and they had them for eight well this one has three hooks Ooh. just want to get it out without uh, poking myself Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. If you guys pay attention, the rattles are right here, and there is a magnet that holds them. So when you're about to cast them, let me see. There we go. When you're about to cast it, as you guys see, the rattles are gone. I mean, the weight is gone from top, and it's on the bottom. What happens is when you load up your rod same thing the the two balls over here metal ones they go on the back magnet so when, when once you start casting 
they'll go on the back magnet and they'll stay there so when you cast the lure doesn't spin on the air it'll go back in first to the water so when it falls to the water uh, when you snap it first snap it will get the uh, weights back on the front I don't know how, how well you guys can see it but they're actually right here right now maybe like this and uh, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're right here. This is what happens when you uh, load up your rod. They just move to the back. And when you cast it, they'll stay there uh, until, the cast, until it lands on the water and you snap it. So first snap, uh, they'll go in the front. And I picked this one um, because it has a little bit of film in there it has a nice flash just like a minnow and uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be a great for uh, clear water basically I am gonna fish uh, the local quarry which is uh, uh, gin clear water and uh, it's very it's tough to get a bite there with any lure that is not uh, a natural pattern and like I said uh, usually it comes with premium hooks Look at that. Without even pressing. I just went in. And uh, the only thing that I'm going to do to it is uh, this snap. I am going to remove the snap and uh, add a split ring in there. I, 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 don't, I don't feel... I don't know why they put it uh, like that. But uh, um, I can make a video why all lures come with... Uh, um, rings in the front uh, if you guys are interested on that but uh, that's it guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button for more educational uh, videos and if you guys want to tag along with me learning and uh, discovering new ways to fish and I will be doing more uh, informative videos uh, this year uh, not just show you guys how much how many fish and uh, what I catch it will be more of a educational I'm trying to uh, change the channel um, go back to the reasons why I started the channel in the first place not just show you guys look how many fish I got actually I want to show you guys how I got them and why I got them so that said guys I don't want to make the video over 10 minutes hopefully it's not over 10 minutes and I'll catch you guys on the next one